Here's Demi Mitchell. That kind of pace can cause problems, can unnerve the defence. Offside flag goes up against Hamilton. And the little flick from Josh Bowie. One of those decisions that was tight, but it was right. Certainly looked so from here. Yeah, the referee's assistant's got it spot on. It's a lot better, though, Dave. That first 15 minutes of the second half, you just thought nothing's going to happen here from our point of view, but all of a sudden, I don't know why they've come to life. Matt Macy's certainly been required in this second half. He's had to be alive and alert to the United threat, a player who was on the Arsenal first-team bench nine times last season. Tosin Kahinde moving the ball quickly. That's made a difference in this second period. So is the speed of Demi Mitchell getting forward a bit more in the last few minutes. Need to keep the intensity up now. That's the challenge, isn't it? Harrop looking for support. Willock for Mattiola Sunday. He's just stepping into a different gear here. Mattiola Sunday! And but for Ben Sheaf, that would have been a terrific goal and could have hauled Manchester United right back into the game. Brilliant run from Ola Sunday. Manages to take on here. One, two, three, in the box. Beats another one. And then Ben Sheaf. Blocks with the attempt to goal. That's a lot better. Reminiscent of his strike against Real Salt Lake in America recently. Tiptoeing through the tackles. In from Harrop. Josh Bowie took a tumble. United get a corner. Big centre half, Ben Sheaf trying to rally the troops. In from Harrop, that's a better corner. Oh. And that's a better effort as well from Manchester United's point of view. They're getting closer, starting to ruffle Arsenal feathers. That's a good corner, a good header. Unfortunately, just a bit too close to the goalkeeper. But that was going to sail in the top corner, Dave. And it was Mattiola Sunday again. In comes the corner, it's Borthwick Jackson on the end of it. United have got Arsenal on the ropes a little bit here, but they need a goal. Getting ever closer to scoring. Here's Kahinde. Matty Willock. Tyrell Warren will take it on. On a Sunday. Tosin Kahinde. Harrop, certainly capable from that kind of range. Oh, of course he is. That is exactly what United needed and what they've deserved for the last 10 minutes or so. They have turned the screw on Arsenal and Joshua Harrop has given United a lifeline in this fixture. Well, it's game on now, Dave. It was coming. Last 10 minutes, they've been brilliant. You know, the lads shot from, what, 20-odd yards? Dips just in front of the goalkeeper, but more important, ends up in the back of the net. Good strike. Joshua Harrop steps forward and shows his ability to make the difference. Another one from long range to add to his collection. And that sets him out on his own as top scorer for the reserves this season with seven. Could there be more to come from him and from United tonight? On the balance of the last ten minutes or so, you'd think there might well be, but is there a, an Arsenal sting in the tail? Matthew Sunday makes sure that for now there isn't. Hey, 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 
Well, when it went off at half time, Dave, our lads looked heavy legged and you couldn't see a possible recovery, but now they're full of life. And it's the Arsenal boys that are struggling a little bit. A little nod to the old adage of if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Here come Arsenal once more, though. Down goes no. Daniel Marlin, and the referee says no. penalty. No. Tyrell Warren and Manchester United are livid, but Arsenal have a spot kick and a chance to get their two goal cushion back. No. I think you'll see it's tackles right on the line as well, Dave. We'll see if another angle get a better chance to see if it is right on the line. Here's the angle. The blue shirt outside the box. It's a shocking decision. Well, that is outside the penalty area, shocking. isn't it? Shocking. I did doubt you at first because on the line is in, but that was not on the line, was it? That was outside the line. Did you say you doubted me at first? <laughs> <laughs> I always doubt you at first. <laughs> All the promise. All the possession, all the potential for this game and for United to get back in it could be undone here with one kick of the ball. It's Daniel Marlin and Kieran O'Hara has the answer. United is still alive in this match. Well, justice has been done, that's without a doubt. Good save by O'Hara, down low. Great save. Well, Nicky Butt was absolutely fuming when that was given as a penalty. Now maybe the fact that Kieran O'Hara has saved the day can set Manchester United up to get back on terms here. Still have a good quarter of an hour to play. Tyrone Warren fouled. And off goes Ola Sunday again. He's been one of the driving forces behind this Manchester United revival. Zach Durnley's helped out as well, and here he goes. Willock to Mitchell. Let's not forget, United drew 3-3 recently with Southampton from 2-0 down, and we're actually 3-2 up until the final dying moments of that game. Kehinde to Ola Sunday. Away from Chris Willock. Thought he'd won a corner for a moment there. Chris Willock brings it away though. Zach Durnley wins the throw. Here's Harrop. Matty Willock looking for Ethan Hamilton's run, but that's going to be a big ask. We're in the final quarter of an hour, Lou. How do you see this playing out now? Oh, it's a, they've got a new lease of life, our lads, Dave. They're up for it, they're getting forward. They, they believe they can do it. He's kicking every ball down there, by the way, Nicky Butt. It's the kind of coach with a personality that you, who you'd want to play for, you'd want to impress. Not just because of the way he is, but what he's achieved as well. Just trying to get the movement going up the top, making sure that Durnley and Bowie and Hamilton can all help their side create the opportunities. Here's Kahinde to Harrop. Having another go. That nearly caught the goalkeeper on the hop. It might well have been deflected on the way through. And Durnley's got it back. 
Looking to play it across, looking oh. for Hamilton, looking for Bowie, and it just wouldn't drop for United. And that's out of play. Well, it's non-stop attacking from the United lads. Another great shot from Josh Harrop. This time the goal could Wolves won, West Ham won in one of the Division Two playoff semi-finals tonight. Remember, someone has to win that this evening, whether it's normal time, extra time, or penalties. Demi Mitchell knocked over by Kamara. Referee wants to have a chat with him here. It's uh, the second or third time that. Dan Kamara has chopped down a United player and might well be the last one he'll get away with. Matty Willock, who's gone close on a couple of occasions in this second half. Joshua Harrop being penned in by Arsenal a little there. Joe Willock to Chris Willock. Well, the Sunday gets a boot in. So does Kehinde.